Criticism doesn't mean deal breaker. I absolutely love using this phone. It is a screamer. It's one of the most fluid devices on the market. Crazy fast, crazy powerful. I can't wait for Android Q because I think this is probably going to give $1,000 laptops a run for its money when you plug in the desktop mode. I can't say enough nice things about this phone, but over the last couple of weeks using this device, just one little irritant has risen its ugly head, just like a couple grains of sand in your shoe, just enough to, to know it's there to distract you from what you might be trying to do on the phone. I've been very critical about notches. I'd rather have full bezels or some other solution for mounting a, a, a selfie camera of some sort. I do not like when a display is interrupted for some sort of supporting hardware. OnePlus has given us the Periscope. He slides up. That's super cute. I love it. Every time I show people to that, there's always a smile on their face. They grin. They think it's pretty neat. But the lifestyle technology I wasn't considering in an all screen device with super minimal bezels, ambient light sensor. How the phone reads the light in your surrounding and then controls the brightness of your screen. Somewhere in there, I'm sure, is hardware that's trying to detect what's going on with your device. I don't think it's at the bottom. I can't see anything down there. If I try leaving this phone on auto, it almost always feels wrong. And, and especially, it almost always feels dimmer than it should be for the surrounding light around me, which means I'm constantly going back in and turning it up a little bit brighter. Then the auto will kind of pull it back down again and it just doesn't seem to work like I think it should. For any other normal phone, that kind of stuff gets annoying too, but it's just that little extra bit of grit in your shoe here because the screen is so nice. Because we have one of the nicest, most fluid displays on any smartphone of this year. That's the one thing I don't want to have to go in and manually manage, manually tinker with. That's the thing I want to just work. <laughs> this price performance ratio is still so phenomenal in every other regard that I don't think that this should knock the OnePlus 7 Pro off of your recommendation list. But something worth talking about as we deliver healthy criticism to brands so that they can improve their products over time. If you've been rocking the OnePlus 7 Pro, drop a comment down below. What have your experiences been with this move upscale from the OnePlus brand? I'd like to hear your thoughts, especially where you think this company should go. As always, folks, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos, subscribing to this channel, more than just nerding out on a pretty shiny new phone at launch. We want to follow that up and see how these products age over time, how well they're supported. I've been getting a lot of updates on the OnePlus, so it's kind of pushed my camera review back a little farther than I'd want to, but the audio review is out on the Patreon, so you can check that out. If you'd like to help support the production of those expanded conversations, there are links down below this video or you could consider joining that list of names scrolling by on your screen. They get full access to all the camera deep dives, audio deep dives, and they've become a huge resource for me in planning future content and future reviews. So I hope you'll check it out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet at some gadget guy on the Twitters and the Twitch and the Facebooks and the Instagram, and I will catch you all on the next review. It totally did it again. I've got to turn the screen back up brighter manually. I am surrounded by studio lights. It should not be this dark.